It is the 2nd of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, I have some dire news out of Fukushima, number two. Um, officials at the tsunami damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant detected a radioactive gas associated with fission Wednesday that could indicate a new problem at one of its reactors. This is reactor number two. They began injecting boric acid as a precautionary measure. Well, it's about time. Gas from inside the reactor indicated the presence of radioactive xenon, which could be the byproduct of unexpected nuclear fission. The boric acid used to neutralize nuclear reactions was being injected through a cooling pipe as a countermeasure. Uh, TEPCO said that there was no rise in the reactor's temperature, pressure, radiation levels. The company said that the radioactive materials inside the reactor had not reached criticality, uh, the point where the nuclear reactors are self-sustaining, and the detection of the xenon would have no major impact on their efforts to keep the reactor cool and stable. We have confirmed that the reactor is stable and we don't believe that this will have any impact in our future work, said a TEPCO spokesman. And uh, on with this story uh, over on Energy News, a press conference, nuclear fission may also be happening in reactors number one and three. Uh, Curium mentioned more. November 1, xenon was detected in the order of the 10th to the power of minus 5 per cubic centimeter, says TEPCO's Matsumoto in press conference that's ongoing right now in Japan. Our reports, uh, it's significant enough to conclude that it is not from March. Matsumoto does think a localized small-scale and or temporary nuclear fission may have occurred in reactor number 2. The article continues, some possibilities put forth by TEPCO to explain the detection of the xenon-133 and 135 include neutrons that exist inside the reactor hitting uranium or plutonium, a curium-244-242 causing spontaneous fission. The TEPCO spokesman said it would be difficult to deny the same thing is not happening in the reactors 1 and 3. So, I will attach links to that below, of course. And uh, here we go with the China Syndrome, and they cannot stop uh, the truth from leaking that is the horror that is Fukushima. It's just insane. Insane. Uh, EarthChangesScott.net. Uh, they start off with uh, the elderly man who fell into the sinkhole I reported on last night. Uh, they've got another sinkhole in South Carolina, uh, grows larger in Georgetown Office Park. Uh, they have a video on there where basically there's a three-foot dip in the parking lot and the building's starting to crack. Uh, so they have a major um, sinkhole going on there. Uh, they mentioned that the city's putting in some deep drainage piping and uh, wondering if that has anything to do with the sinkhole. But the city's not commenting, of course. Uh, man files 12 sinkhole claims on 12 homes. In Tampa, in the last five years, a number of sinkhole claims in Florida has jumped from 2,000 to 6,000, according to a 2010 report from the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation. So it's sinkhole day on scott.net today. Western Bangkok bearing large brunt of flooding in Thailand. And of course, um, just extreme flooding. And a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in Revila, uh, Gegido Islands region, um, the, which is off the west coast of Mexico, south of Baja, California. Um, and they had a pretty massive, well, 6.3, that's a major earthquake. And then over to the extinction protocol tonight, ad agency warns rising food prices are forcing some children to eat hay. Soaring food costs are forcing some children to eat hay and leaves because their parents cannot afford to put food on the table, according to Save the Children. And ongoing, here we go with this food crisis that we've been watching unfold uh, throughout over the summer. We've got triple M-class flares unleashed on, sun, on the sun by new rotating sunspot number 1339. And it is rolling around towards our direction. 
Uh, we had a 4.1 magnitude earthquake northeast of LA, uh, out in the, looks like the mountain deserts. And uh, world's markets go into free fall as Greece isolates itself from the Eurozone. And here we go again. Um, this is a controlled collapse, one domino at a time, and uh, they're, they're manipulating all the way to the end. So uh, fasten your seatbelts on the economy run, everybody. We are all in for it, for sure. Uh, Greece is just a flash in the fire. Cold weather arrives early in northwest region of India, and that's that cold wave I reported about last night. Reunion Island devastated by worst forest fires seen in 20 years. Now, Reunion Island is a French territory uh, in the Indian Ocean, and uh, they have this huge 100,000, I believe, acre hectares of 40 percent. Or, or like a fourth or 40 percent of the island is a national um, reserve and apparently a large portion of this is on fire and they haven't seen any damage like this in over 20 years. Uh, more evidence geological change is accelerating in India and uh, they got a report out how altitude sickness is worst in northern India um, I say above the norms where it should be kind of thing and over to the RSOE, let me get back to the map here, of course we have the new Fukushima news, and what else is going on, of course the volcanic activity in Chile, uh, El Hero, the Canary Islands continues, um, Yeah, flooding in Indonesia. That is about it, new climate change wise. Of course, bear in mind we have three nuclear reactors going China syndrome in Fukushima, Japan, Diachi nuclear power plants. Um, the, the gases are escaping, and no matter what TEPCO says, and they've been caught in lie after lie after lie after lie. Uh, this is something very serious we need to pay attention to. Uh, this is going to go on for a very long time. Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.